right? So a bit of a product in focus. And for me, I'm very, very often talking about the 1% in improving my fishing with just making little certain things in my fishing as good as they can possibly be. And what more to focus on than using the correct Dacron connectors? I mean, I've been a big fan of Dacrons for forever and ever, really. I mean, it's definitely my preferred way uh, of attaching my rig, be it because of, what would I say, versatility being a big thing and also looking after your elastic. I find that by using a Dacron when using hollows and uh, hybrid style elastics, then they definitely, definitely look after your elastics a lot more than directing your rig than attaching your rig directly to it. Definitely not a, a big fan of that when it comes to doing that. And with the product launch, definitely we had to incorporate some super short Dacron connectors. It's pretty much what I've been using, making myself for a long, long time, I'd say, probably three or four years, I've been using the, the really, really short version of them. And what this was about is me not having to make them myself. So I really like it. The bosses at Matrix have brought these out in the medium and the large. And they just make attaching your elastic really, really, really simple with some key benefits, which I'll babble about now. Which firstly, what I'm after is when it comes to the Dacron, the material that you use, really, really, really important. Because what you want it to do is keep it right out of the way of my pole. I mean, a lot of my fishing comes down to slapping for carp, fishing shallow for F1s. I mean, a lot of very busy ways of fishing that if I use the incorrect form of elastic uh, attachment, then I often get wrap overs in my pole, especially when turning my rig over. So having a lovely stiff coat of material there, it keeps my rig away from my pole. Really, really, really important. But what it also had to do as well is maintain a, a fairly tight contact between my, my line and the float. Uh, sorry, not my line and the float, my line and the connector, keeping it as close as possible so the elastic comes into contact with the fish as quickly as possible. Yeah, when using great big long floppy um, Dacron connectors, you tend to find that they turn over before you respond to the bite. So the fish feels resistance, let's go your bait. So in turn, by using a really, really short one of what? Probably five to six mil in that case. What it means is I'm gonna create that bolt effect as quickly as possible, and then fish are gonna hook themselves. Well, again, maintaining a way of connecting my elastic that looks after my elastic. So for me, it's that 1% thing. Everything is as simple as possible and just attached with a really nice little simple knot underneath the, what we're going to call it there, the bead, the sheath. In that case, it's just a little medium. And I've tied a couple of knots on top of that to keep it in place, which I'll do a little video for you there. You'll be able to have a look at how I do that. Nothing technical involved. I say the bead goes over, covers the elastic and creates for me the perfect, simple way of attaching my elastic that looks after anything and possibly saves me a few quid as well because I have to replace my elastics a little bit less often. So well worth a look, super short Dacron connectors.